Oh, trouble down here. Hard in the wall goes the 77, Donnie Neuenberger. Caution is out. These babies, when they twitch, that's the end of them. Have a look here. There this he car goes. just came around, got loose with him. Drove it in there probably a little too hard, and uh, the car just got loose. Boy, Joey Clanton in the 27 car, he had to get all the way on the apron to get below him. I think they, I'm not sure Clanton that, missed him completely. He oh. did get a little bit of damage. Brushed him. That is a hard lick. First caution of the day out after just nine laps. To put us under caution, as you'll see Kevin Grubb come into view. He's one of the last cars in that pack on the right side of your screen. He's the third car in that pack. There is no question what happened to that oh, car. Baby. Right front tire just went down on him. Hounded it. Second caution of the day at Dover. Long way back, half a lap. Yeah, it's exactly uh, right, right at a half a lap. 13 seconds. Matt's down in the third turn right now. Now, Kerry Earnhardt's been in. Got a car spun off the back over there. Streaming. Oh, spun and done. Okay, David. Our caution is out. Yeah, Who this is a big, big right break for is our points leader, Todd Bogdan. He had not made his green flag stop. He's on the lead lap in second place. So a big, big break for I Todd. I don't believe the five car had either. The yeah, we're going to pit road. And the other, yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yep. Just, uh, just a lap ago. Oh, boy. Casey Kane and into Jamie McMurray. And a lot of this is product of really fresh tires and really, really old tires. Oh, the, the closing rate's incredible, about two seconds. And there you see Todd Bodine, he, in the 92 car, he is on pit road right now. That is happening so fast right there, coming off turn two. I mean, that was a hard lick on the inside that pit wall, or that wall. All right, so it is David Stremme in the number one. He's okay. The rest of those cars wasn't all that fast. Kane started this race outside pole. But it is Kenseth who controls the tempo coming for the restart. Oh, he gets hit by Vickers. Ken Kenseth may have missed a shift. Yeah, because he's going to lose two positions. Brian Vickers in the five is going to take the lead. But boy, Kenseth comes back in a hurry. He's Trouble. going to turn the one. Back. Kerry Earnhardt down on the apron along with Dave Blaney. Caution is out. Can Casey Kane in the 38 get his lap back? I believe he will. Watch the leader. On the left of your screen, Matt Kenseth. I think I hear him when we were listening. He spun the tires. Right See there? there. Yeah, he spun the tires. And, of course, uh, Vickers had nowhere to go that time. Now, there's where Shane Meal got turned. Yeah, a lot of cars back here going around. There comes the 31 car. Yeah, that was a 19 car. Casey yeah. Mears that spun completely yeah. you around. Could hear, you could hear the 17 car when he took off, spin the tires, and jump sideways. Steve Burns. And Mike, we heard Matt say to his crew chief that he's having problems with his shifter linkage. Ron Hornaday got into the back of Shane Meal. A lot of damage down toward turn one. I tried with Vickers. That was a pretty hard look that uh, Vickers took there in the nose. Didn't seem to do a lot of damage to his car because the back of Matt's car is pretty soft. From Bobby Hamilton Jr., Ron Hornaday just in front. Now there's Neil to the left. Bam, bam. Around they go. Todd Bodine with Hamilton just ahead. And oops. Just barely slid through. Got past Casey Mears there. Trouble oh, front straight away. Right now. Move oh, hard. Joey Clanton in the 27 car. Big crash right in. Boy, Clanton just about ripped the right front off that car. They're going to come to the line and the caution flag at lap 186. Mike Bliss in the 20. I believe he's going to get his lap back. He caught Joe Nemechek sleeping, getting into turn three, so he'll get back on the lead lap. He'll come get him four fresh tires, and he'll be back in business. Clanton has got the 27 car here. Gets a bump. Uh, somebody gets up under him and sends him around, and I, I can't tell you who it was. But that was a hard lick. That's like, uh, it's almost like boilerplate wall down there. But he could tell you who it was. He had a tire rub, cut down a tire, came to pit road, got it replaced. It's a battle for fourth. Matt Kenseth, right oh, now, fresh tire. Boy, around goes Truex. 
a snap spin. Yeah, what happened was he just drove the thing in there so hard trying to stay up with Matt Kenseth again. The caution is out. This will be five to go right here right now. We will not get a red flag, but they could get this race restarted because yep. Martin Truex is moving. Let's show you what happened to the watch the 81. Here goes Kenseth on the outside and Truex wants to stay with him knowing that's the thing to do. Trying to hold him to the outside, but he just drove it in there too hard. And there's a little dip down there, and that baby just came around. Truex has come to pit road. Here's another look. Slow motion. Car just gets away from him. I tell you, when the, and this concrete isn't, it's just the way it is when the car breaks loose, you just can't, very seldom do you get a second chance. This is happening. I mean, this is happening at a fast speed. Good bit of damage, but he should be able to finish the race. Yeah, when it's late in the race, you don't want to lose any spots. You know, people start driving it by you, and you know, you got the 25 there in front of you, you got the 17 going around the outside. So, man, I can't let this happen. I've had a great day. Now his car sits on pit road. You see the NASCAR officials around it. What this means is since we're under red flag conditions, you see all the cars parked on the backstretch, you cannot work on your car under red flag conditions until they bring the red out, pull the red in and put the yellow flag out. 